Hello guys, Nick here, Keith Folky, and in today's video, I just want to go over the importance of having an antivirus and an anti malware on your computer. Now, I've done a few jobs over the previous months on clients' computers, and you'd be surprised how many of them didn't have an active antivirus. The majority of them thought they did, but the license had either run out or they actually didn't have them on there. Now, this can be really bad in regards to your computer safety, your actual, say, bank detail safety, and all those sort of things. Now, not having an antivirus or anti malware on your computer can be bad in a multitude of ways. One, it's bad for your bank details and anything to do with your person. Number two, the functionality of your computer. Okay, things such as keyboards not working, touchpads not working. Uh, programs not working, your computer not starting up properly. Viruses and malware tend to do this and can actually make your life a living hell sometimes. And I've noticed majority of the time just updating someone's antivirus or anti-malware or reactivating it or even putting a new antivirus down on their computer has helped out tremendously and it's fixed their problems. Because when you're trying to troubleshoot, I'm going to be doing a troubleshooting video in the future, but just for now, when you're troubleshooting, you always start off with the easiest thing. So every time, I automatically go to the antivirus and anti-malware. And if he, and nine times out of ten, they haven't got it activated or they haven't got any. So this is why you should really check that your antivirus is working and you have one active. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that and what my top picks for 2018 are in regards of anti-malware and antivirus. So before I get into my top picks, I was going to show you how to uninstall and check if you've got an antivirus or anti-malware working on a computer. Okay, first step, go down to the bottom right, click the little arrow like this, and you just check if there's anything on here with a little X or something like that, or you may not even have an icon down there. So for me, I've got Bitdefender is active. And my malware by it's free is up to date. That means you're in the background protecting your computer. If you've got Windows 8 or Windows 10 in here, you'll have sometimes you have a notification saying you haven't got an active antivirus or your antivirus is out of date or your antivirus is disabled along those lines. Okay, so once you check down there, we're going to go into programs, type in. P R O G Prog. Click on programs and features. And then in here it will bring up a list of all your installed programs on your computer. Like so. Okay, all you're looking for now is something that says antivirus or anti malware. Typically it's it's I see on a lot of clients' computers, it's Norton antivirus, uh, McAfee, um what's the other one called? A vast, those sort of things. So just go down. Say, for instance, my bit defender wasn't in date. Just click on that and you click on uninstall. Obviously, I'm not going to do it here because I need my bit defender on my computer. Now, once you think you've installed everything, uninstalled, I should say, do not browse any sites or anything because this is when you're most vulnerable on your computer. So you just come out of programs and features once you've obviously uninstalled all your inactive, Norton, McAfee, Avast, that sort of thing. So I'll come out of that. And now I'm going to go over my top picks for antivirus and malware. And remember, don't do anything apart from watching this video or listening to it, however you're doing it. We'll crack on with my top picks. Okay, so when we're looking at antivirus and anti-malware, there are two or three that I like to install on clients' computers. And one of them, called Bitdefender, it's very minimalistic and it's a very passive scanner. So if you want more control over your scanning and all that, this might not be for you. But instead, you might want AVG. Okay, AVG free. These are both free, by the way. You don't have to pay anything. Actually, all the programs I'm going to say in this video are going to be free. Don't have to pay zero. Okay, so you've got Bitdefender, which is a passive antivirus, and then you've got AVG free, which is 
a more how do I describe it? It's a more hands-on. It allows you to be a bit more full-on, but I find it gives you quite a lot of ads down at the bottom right-hand corner if you don't pay for the full version. So that's why kind of myself, I'm switched over to Bitdefender. And I'm really liking it at the moment. It's a more hands-off approach to things. It's up to you, Bitdefender or AVG. You can get both from download.cnet. I'll leave links down below. So you can obviously use Bitdefender or AVG. They're both pretty good in my opinion. And you can't really go wrong. Just Bitdefender, you get less ads. AVG, you get a few more ads. But AVG is a bit more customization in it, you know. Okay, now after you sorted out your antivirus, you need to go over and... There's no contender for this one, really. Malwarebytes is a great anti-malware um, software. If you don't know what malware is, I'll leave a wiki link down below. But essentially, malware are things like Trojans, Worms. It's the more deadlier version of viruses, to be honest. Malware um, tends to steal your bank details and they have phishing scams and things like that. Steal your identity and make your life a living hell if you get enough of, of them on your computer. Okay, so definitely need this. Download malware bytes. You can get a free trial, I think, for 12 days and then switch over to a free, a free version. And it's it's the best out there, I think. Oh, it is the best out there at the moment. For 2018 anyway. So download I have AVG and Bitdefender. After you've done that, download malware bytes and do the scans, the initial first scans, and then you should be set, guys. Um just make sure they're they're kept to up to date. They normally do it for you if you've got an active internet. But yeah, if you have these, you should be good. And you should never get infected ever. Unless obviously you click on stupid sites. And you download stupid links. Which I may do a video of how to prevent that. And a different type of viruses and malware you can get. But for today, it's just the importance of having these on your computer. It's one of the basic things a technician should really look for. If they're troubleshooting on your computer. I find 9 times out of 10, malware bytes will fix the majority of problems if like the computer's crashing or failing to start up or a really laggy computer. Yeah, and that does the trick. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out in some form or another. Leave a like down below or dislike if it didn't help you. Leave a comment down below. Tell me how you guys are doing. If you need any help, sub for more videos and I'll see you next time. Right, so before we get started on me showing you the best antivirus and stuff, we'll get...